So I just got my Hamilton Beach Good Thinking can opener. This is the box it came in. I already took it out the packaging. The foam and everything is in there, whatever. So I took it out the packaging. Here are the directions. Of course, it's in different languages and in English. It's a can opener. But one of the coolest things I think about this can opener is that it doesn't leave any sharp edges for you to cut yourself. I don't know about you, but me, I have a tendency to be clumsy sometimes. And just getting out of the hospital with blood clots, being on blood thinners, I definitely don't want to cut myself. So, that said, check this out. This is so cool. Like, I just stick it under here. Right, first let me lift this up. Wait, so, I stick it here. Stick it under there. I'm going to have to set the phone down for just a second. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I'll just maybe prop it up here. Sorry. <laughs> there you can see it. Now, I don't know. So anyway, I'm propping it up, and then this is up. I stuck it under here. Now I'm just, just this is so cool. So I just hold it down. Watch this. Watch this. This is so cool. Okay, so it's done. It's done. Can you hear that sound? Okay, so I'm going to lift this up. Check this out. This is so cool. It doesn't even leave any sharp corners. You can literally, look, you could just lift it off without cutting yourself. Check that out. Is that cool or what? And I particularly like it because I'm just getting out of the hospital with blood clots. I'm on blood thinners and I have a tendency to be clumsy. <laughs> and it says that I'm always cutting myself. So this really helps me a lot. Look at that clean can top. It's nothing uh, sharp for me to cut myself on. And I just love it. And now it's time to feed the dog. I couldn't, I could hardly wait to, to try this can opener out. I just got it. Hamilton Beach. And I love it. And, and I want to say this. It's just a can opener, right? So why do I need to spend $150 or $70 or $80 on name brand? Hamilton Beach is a name brand, I guess. But I just love the fact that it didn't leave any sharp can pieces for me to cut myself with so that's my review i love this um can opener and another cool feature is that you can put knife or not knives uh scissors in here which is cool put your scissors there bark your scissors there park your scissors there um it's just a really nice thing and it goes great with the decor my black and white kitchen i hope you enjoyed this review i am totally in love with this hamilton beach good thinking can opener. I urge anyone in the market for an electric can opener uh, to get one. I was going to get a, 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 a manual can opener, but then I said, why should I put myself through all that work? I just want to be able to stick the can under there, push a button. Why, why not let the um, technology do the work for you? So that's my review. I love it. It's wonderful. My first day with it. If anything should change, if anything should change, I will definitely let you know. But right now, this baby.
So this is locked position. We've got to unlock it. And we'll just put the can up here, lock it down, and then we're just going to push it. Okay, and we could hear the noise change and we could see where the gears have already been. So you don't want to keep running over to you know, create those splinters that everybody keeps writing about. And uh, that should be it right there. It should be open. So we're going to unlock it, set it down here and see if the top comes off. Yep. And that's it. You can pop the top back on again. And that's not a splinter. That's just a part of the paper. Um, that's it. Okay, that's as far as I can. No, 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 there was, but I pulled it off. That's all right. That's enough. Now let's show them Chef RD. Watch it out. And it was because of what? The Hamilton Beach? Yeah, when I opened it up. Watch out. Hamilton Beach, supposed to be. Okay, I'm going to show you how this can opener works. You just simply slide it in and let it run. You can kind of see the perforation going on the edge of the rim. Okay, so it's done. So you release it by lifting up and you just lift the lid off just like that. So if you I want to strain, you can just hold it like that over the sink or wherever you want to strain the liquid into. Uh, Yeah. 